Hello everyone, welcome to Let's Talk Trends. I'm Dawn, Content and Communications Lead of Lion Global Investors. Thank you so much for being with us here today. Joining us on this episode is Kenneth Ong, our Fund Manager for Singapore Equities. Welcome to the show, Kenneth. Always great to have you. Thanks, Dawn. Glad to be here again. Okay, so today we are going to touch on a topic that has raised many concerns for investors over the last couple of months, that is the Singapore REIT sector. Mm. So the REIT sector has taken a tumble on the back of the Federal Reserve raising their interest rates, most recently in November, by 0.75% to 4%. So I'm sure many investors out there are as curious as I am. What do we do with the S REIT sector from now? Well, thank you very much, Don. This is actually a, a very hot topic for investors right now. Um, I think the good news is we are starting to see some light at the end of the tunnel. Um, and, you know, this is actually an interesting opportunity for investors, especially those who are looking for uh, defensive sectors like the REITs. I see. So, however, right, with the unit prices of the REIT sector having fallen so much, how can we actually provide a comfort to investors that this is indeed an opportune moment to get in right now? Okay, I think there are uh, two ways to look at it. You know, first, at the macro level, uh, the US Federal Reserve has signaled two things, right? So, the first is that um, they're looking to perhaps uh, slow down the pace of interest rate increases. So, I think that that reduces the headwinds that are affecting the, the REIT market right now. And the second thing is that they're looking to keep those that interest rate level for a longer period of time to combat inflation. Now, this is a tendency to move the US economy into the recession, and by extension, the recession risk for the global economy will also increase. Now, interestingly, uh, the REIT sector is a, is, a, is a defensive sector, right? And it tends to perform uh, during periods of uh, low growth or even in recessionary conditions. So from the top-down perspective, you know, we're seeing the narrative shift, you know, from being concerned about rising interest rates to, to being concerned about a recession. And that plays into the hands of the REITs. So, but, and the second thing is from the bottoms up. Uh, we're looking at uh, a recovery, uh, you know, in, in moving to 2023 of a normalization of, uh, you know, COVID restrictions, especially that from China, right? So when we look from the bottom up, uh, the revenue drivers for the REITs uh, are likely to continue to be resilient, you know, especially as tourism comes back, as life returns to normal, right? So when we look from the bottoms up perspective, you know, we are also seeing, you know, some uh, supportive uh, levels for the REITs. And and finally, um, you know, uh, REITs have actually taken quite a tumble and some of them are trading uh, significantly below their uh, book, book values. Mm -hmm. uh, so that offers a margin of safety for investors looking for that defensive yield. Great. So uh, in summary, I'm hearing that REITs are trading at a very attractive valuations and can offer a defensive yielding option for investors in a slowing growth environment. So thank you so much for sharing your perspective with us, Kenneth. This is a short and snappy episode. Thank you so much. You have been listening to Let's Talk Trends with me, Don Leong. If you like what you have heard, please subscribe to our show on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts and Spotify. Catch you guys next time. <music>